Sylt is Germany's northernmost island. With its 40 kilometers of golden sand, it's popular with nature lovers and a fabulous getaway for fans of sea and surf. Located just off the North Sea coast, Zylt hosts a range of water sports contests each year. In the largest town, Vestaland, for example. Dutch kite surfer Annie van Esch de Jong loves the island. I really like uh, the nature here in the north and the south. The dead spots for kite surfing. Then uh, uh, two days ago we've uh, been surfing between the um, seals. So that was uh, really wonderful. And I like it here because you can go shopping and you can do everything here. Nestled in the dunes on the west side, you'll find a veritable island institution, Bune Sechzen. A beachfront restaurant has been a favorite of locals and visitors alike since 1981. Everyone comes here from students to executives to enjoy locally caught fish. The crew head out every morning in their little fishing boat. And a few hours later, the first tasty mackerels are in the fryer. Mackerel is full of omega-3 fatty acids and very wholesome. It was on this beach that Zylt first came to fame as a getaway for the glitterati. Back in the 1960s and 70s, the jet set came here to frolic on the beach. Multi-millionaire playboy Gunther Sachs was among the first celebrities to discover Zylt. After dark, the parties would relocate to the growing number of nightclubs. Soon, Zylt was called the Saint-Tropez of the North. Longtime resident Falk Eitner still remembers the days. After the difficult times during the war and Reconstruction, people were desperate to go on vacation again. It was like they were catching up, living again on the island. It was all about seeing and being seen. The atmosphere was electric. That spirit lives on along the Ströenweis Strip in the upscale resort of Kampen. But it's not just the rich and famous who flock here. Zylt is a popular destination among vacationers from all walks of life, almost 900,000 in all every year. In peak season, the 3,000 wicker beach chairs in Westerland are fully booked. Zylt has a rich natural heritage. The dunes covering a third of the island are 3,000 years old. Wild grass, thistle and wild roses stabilize the dunes and protect against storm surges. It's a fragile ecosystem and visitors have to use the wooden walkways to cross the dunes. Thatched roofs are another typical feature of Zylt. The finest examples are found in the town of Kaitum. They're several centuries old, most of them built by sailors. The roofs are made out of dried reeds. The reeds down in the Wadden Sea were ideal for these houses. In the summer it offers great insulation from the heat and in winter from the cold. The Wadden Sea tidal mud flats extend across much of the coast of the North Sea. It's the largest ecosystem of its kind on the planet and a paradise for nature lovers. Zylt is also a popular choice among the romantically inclined. In the evening, there are countless beaches where at sunset you can enjoy a private al fresco dinner for two. Some restaurants and hotels will put together a picnic basket on request. Sitting out here watching the sunset with the sky over the water and the people, it's unique. The island is a real refuge from the city. You can turn off your phone and just relax. And when it comes to relaxation, Zylt is in a class of its own.